microorganisms, animal kills, entity kills, creature kills. These lingering creators fashion the world, designing the cellular stones that stack one by one to build all forms and functions. Proportionally, what a textile thread is to a human, DNA is to a microbe. They are known as disease, change, growth, miracles, spells, visions, memories, wisdom, prosperity, calamity, remedy. People are personifications of microbial expression, motivated by quorums and tribunals. When information is transduced into sensory interpretation by a host, the entity cools have access to that decoded experience. They speak a psychical language between one another, across hosts, boundaries, and mediums. What may slip into the subconscious, out of awareness, can be read by the microbial community and then relayed back to host in what is often cryptic archetypes, vague familiarities. When a person walks down the street or enters a store, all that is sensed and even what is unsensed can be data mined by the various biofilms of animal kills. This shared communication network permeates outside the barrier of skin. It trundles everywhere as thought vibrations, sound waves, light particles, electric pathways, and directly as spreading spores, cells and bacteria, pieces of the self, naturally drifting and settling. All things carry wisdom, living and unliving, particle and photon, wave and vibration. Through the yeast of your ancestors, murmurings of forgotten lore bleed through dreams and into your path in life. Gravity, as a subset of electromagnetism, pushes and pulls one to and fro, lines and highways of movement, hindering and freeing travel. Along those channels, migrations of microorganisms traverse the world to destinations and synchronicities, fateful encounters. Microbes naturally flow along electromagnetic fields, swept up by the currents of air and static, attracted by the veins and arteries of force and pulse. The energy and mood of a location or host, therefore, also affects the entity cools inside and around. An organ enmeshed in anxiety will change what can survive and thrive. No different than a garden having its sunlight suddenly blocked for a long period. States of mind, blood circulation, electric currents, and biophotons all influence the kind of living space of a particular passage or organ of a body part. The subtle fluctuations and emissions of radiation and ultraviolet light that cells undergo daily are the stars and sun of a microbiome, though the star drip of distant celestial bodies are no less impactful. One branch feeds into another. The minuscules are erudites, thumping with the beat of knowledge, dancing to the low and deep bass of drums. They wage war with viral siege engines and sleeper cells, miraculous conversion with phages, chemical bonds, and acids. Plagues of creature cools, microcosmic horrors, and valiant last stands. A smooth surface to giants is a fortress with valleys and moats, ravines and cliffs to those further in the fractal. Spiral assassins and ghoulish knights, amoeboid ogres and magician fairies. If the diversity of animalian and plantian life astound you, billions of years of change and complexity, imagine the unseen life, the microbial, whose evolution was not to become a large multicellular organism, but to remain sublime, to evolve in the ways of poetry, intrigue, counterintelligence, manipulation, magic, mimicry, as erudites. Often seen as primitive, the base and lowest possible denominator of a living thing, but the more discerning eye sees that all is made up of the cells and molecules. Those closest to the foundations are the most potent in overseeing the rest of the architecture. Man throws their lots in with gods and godcules, 
they chant, bring me healing, cast sickness on my enemy, drive the storms away, call the rains down, offer bounty and the fruits of labor, lead me to the paths of serendipity. To mold they all pray, to Archaea, to Paramecium, the creature kills that haunt and hunt, demanding fealty, craving one decision over another, torturing you into fulfilling their plans, offering reward and punishment alike. They play jests on the mortals, making games of their lives and conflicts you only glimpse in rumors on the wind. Spirit kills abound, lurkers and controllers, beholders and howlers. On objects, in sunless rooms, under glades and soil, within people and partitions, soft as a moth's wings, silent as the battle cry of an ant, as heavy as a spider's shadow. Reality breaks down at the microscopic. Now that is a false sentiment, the wrong way of looking. Rather, reality gets built up by the microscopic eels. There are more of these lingering creators than is conceivable, than is classifiable. Wisdom is as sustenance to them, and that they are willing to trade. The price is your soul, which is the name for the connection between microbiome and your biophoton radiation. The things you love, the things you create, all that you touch and think and possess and consume, your soul sears into them, your radiation, your infections. To be alive is to blend what is you with what is other.